I've been culturing springtails on different mediums, soil, live moss, synthetic foam and others. Mold often grows on any medium that I tried in the first months after I seed new springtails cultures. I learned to keep springtails in the same container with uh, grindle worms. And it makes no difference what kind of food I feed to springtails and grindle worms. Grindle worms always gather on the food given to them. While springtails always gather on the wet walls of the container and areas surrounding the food. I have never seen springtails gather on mold or even on the food given. Do springtails feed on mold? It is questionable based on my observations. Here you can see untouched patches of mold. Springtails certainly like moist walls and the bottom of the container. Take a look at the time-lapse recording I published previously. An uncountable herd of grindle worms and springtails roams the moss and wet foam of this container. Let's drop a flake of cereal in. Cover the container. And uh, watch a day-long time-lapse recording. The worms attack the cereal flake moving in from a semicircle of moss surrounding it. Grindle worms engulf the flake while exploring the surrounding area a bit further. And then worms retreat back into the moisture of moss after completely devouring the flake. Based on feeding pattern revealed in this 10 hours long time lapse observation, I made adjustments to provide better care for grindle worm cultures. Springtails seem to gather on wet surfaces surrounding the flakes of food that uh, grindle worms eat. It happens all the same every time in every container on any medium I tried. I decided to set up an experiment to see if springtails would feed on mold and uh, flakes without any medium. Put springtails in a similar 16 oz uh, food grade container. Crush half of a cereal flake for springtails to feed on. Miss the inside of the container with water. Make needle sized holes in the lid of the container for air circulation. So, in this container springtails have everything as in any other containers I culture them except no medium and no grindle worms. All set and ready on December 15, 2021. Check on springtails daily. The food in the middle of the container starts spoiling two days late on December 17. Moisten the culture a bit. The same goes the next day and the day after. Springtails gather around the wet area. I miss the culture without adding new food. 12 days late on December 27, all food is covered with mold. It seems to me that the number of springtails decreased. And again, springtails gathered around the wet spot, away from mold. January 3rd, 2022. It's been about three weeks since the initial setup. I don't see any springtails. January 24th. I cannot find any springtails, adult or babies in this container for the past three weeks or so. Only patches of mold are here. I decide to give it another try. Let's deposit a new crew of springtails with a flake of cereal. There is a lot of mold for springtails to chew on if they really feed on it. And uh, let's moisten the culture. One week later on January 31st. I did not see any live springtails in this container with mold for the past couple days. Now I am not surprised springtails stay away from mold in my newly set up cultures. Mold kills springtails. 
overfeeding that often happens in the first months after setting up new springtail culture seems to be the main cause of mold growth. Well-established culture with a strong population of springtails consume organic waste quickly, leaving nothing for mold to grow on. Springtails feed on algae, waste and decay organic matter. So, feed your pets sparingly. And let springtails clean up your pet's waste and spoiling food leftovers. Have fun and happy springtails!